boy TDK, man. I'm back. As you can see, your boy still undefeated. As you can see, the man took the Jets. I took the Arizona fuck ass Cardinals. Let's keep it all the way live. The only reason why I fucked with them was because they was undefeated in real life, right? So I'm like, okay, at this point. And honestly, I was like, at first, I didn't really take a look at their team. But then when I started taking a look at their team, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Low-key, they got some ballers on their team. They got some cool little running backs. Got some nice little people at receivers, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about besides Fence Gerald, you know what I'm saying? He in the, he in the league all by himself, so I don't even have to talk about him. But um, on defense, they got some nice little folks. They got a cool little tight end. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to run with him. But at first, you know what I'm saying, this dude, he had me thinking like he was going to run with um, the Bengals. He went to the Bengals, then he went to the Tennessee Titans. So I was like, okay, I'm going to match up one time. I'm going to go with a cool little, little, little team or whatnot, you know what I mean, just to match up, not be a dickhead. Then on the last minute, he ends up switching up and going to the Jets. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just switch up. But this play pissed me the fuck off just because – my block can stay on some bullshit, and somehow, some way, this fuck boy ends up getting a nice little run with um, Joe McKnight on some dumb shit after I had already punted. But I see, you know what? Fuck it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and get this little touchdown one time. I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna get to work on this offense, and I'm gonna get my uh, um, I'm gonna move the ball on this boy because he kind of low key made me mad just because. He had picked the Jets, you know what I'm saying? The Jets, on offensively, they're not nobody to be afraid of. The Jets on offense, we all know. We all watch the NFL. They're fucking bums. Real rap, especially now if they lost Santonio San Holmes. You know what I'm saying? They, who else did they have? That Tebow Mania bullshit, that don't mean a damn thing to me. See, I went for it on fourth down like a bum, but it is what it is. Hey, it's all about winning, you know what I'm saying? Um... But as far as their yeah, offensively, they're not nobody to be afraid of. But defensively, they do have some nice little players. As you can see, your boy leaps in the goddamn end zone like an ass. You know what I'm saying? Acting like we ain't never been there. Acting like we ain't got no home training. But it is what it is. How the fuck is that not an interception? Come on, man. Let's keep it all the way live, man. Stop fucking with me. As you can see, I'm back on defense. I'm trying to go to work. I'm about to go to work. I'm about to get busy on that ass. This dude, his offense was pretty whack. He had a weak ass scheme. His shit was just crossing, crossing routes, and damn, what was that? Little, and I and I want to say it was a not hitch. It was curl routes. He was once I pretty much stopped his running game. He just pretty much went to the to the pass game the whole time. He was just crossing routes, and that that was pretty much it. Or he was trying to run with Tim Tebow. Weak ass nigga. This nigga was a bum. Not only did you fucking not fucking match up, you fag. You end up. Going for him fourth down, and you did not get it. And he didn't even have to go for a fourth down. You know what I'm saying? He was just being an asshole. He truly did not have to go for a fourth down. We was tied. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why, I mean, going for a fourth down, there's no excuse for it. But I was losing. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I hit my man for a nice little pass. My man, Michael Floyd, straight from um, the rookie from fucking Irish. You know what I'm saying? What's that face? Notre Dame. There you go. As you can see, your boy gets another TD. Easy. So, um... Just a, a word of advice to anybody. If you leave that outside open, I'm going to hit it every time. I'm always looking to that outside route. Don't think that I, because I might not be paying attention. I might not get it. I get that shit every time. I'm always looking there. But um, like I was saying, the man didn't have to go for a fourth down. I went for a fourth down because I was losing. So I was like, fuck it. I'm not trying to get out of this game. I'm not trying to let him go up 14 if he goes up 14, nothing is because I missed it on the fourth down. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go to business. I'm a, I'm a, my defense is with the shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We about to go to work and get busy. At this point, this dude's just sitting here wasting time for whatever reason. I don't know. And uh, I swear to God, if my uh, <laughs> this better not be that better not be my R8. You know what I'm saying? My uh, doorbell just rung, and I got a... Um, I got a meeting. I got an agreement meeting coming up soon. That if that's my RA, I'm gonna have to cut this whole short one time. But um, so um, damn. Hold on, hold on. Please don't let that be her. I'm gonna have to cut this whole short. Hold on. Hey, hey. If that is her, I was gonna have to cut this whole short one time, and y'all, y'all just continue to watch the rest of the gameplay. And um, y'all, at the end of the day, uh, I'll, I'll let y'all know what the business is. But um. Nah, I don't think that's her. I think that might be somebody. Yeah, I was about to say. No, no, no. That's what I was about to say. What? Tomorrow? All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, I not even got to worry about um, that meet because that meet got changed to tomorrow the 930. Why am I, why am I telling y'all like y'all give a damn? But anyway.
<laughs> I'm over here telling these folks like, like they give a fuck. But um, as you can see, your boy got the interception on deck. You know, see so my man Pat Peterson got the got the cool little interception. But like I was saying, let me finish my damn topic. So he didn't have to go for it. I'm already done, man. It's about to be in the third quarter, and I'm still talking about this stupid ass reason why he shouldn't have gone for it on the fucking fourth down. But anyways, um. I end up, um, one, I fucking hate the goddamn engine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw that last play where I just fucking tripped. If I would have easily, I should have been easily been able to go behind the dude and, and damn, they get a touchdown. But as you can see, I, that didn't happen. I ended up um, getting a nice little t uh, throw to my tight end, ended up kicking a field goal. Now we're in third quarter. As you can see, your boy is up 17-7. to seven. He has the ball, but I wasn't complaining. I was fine with that. Takes a sack like a fuck boy. You know what I'm saying? His little weak ass out where else wasn't there for him. You know what I'm saying? My defense is with the shit, man. I'm, I'm going to keep talking about my defense all year long, man. My defense is with the shit. I'll put my defense against anyone's defense. I don't give a fuck what defense you run. I don't give a fuck what scheme you run home, but I'm all about my defense. I think my defense is the best defense out there. Point blank, period. And ain't shit to it. I don't have no, no text. I don't have no... Clean ass scheme to go with and playmaker on deck. Get the fuck out of here. Styling on him, shitting on him. Fuck boy, get the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I told y'all, fuck boys. This is why I'm the fucking messiah of this shit. I do this shit for real. And my offense is garbage. You know what I'm saying? I keep it all the way live. My defense is with the shit. My offense is fucking terrible and I'm fucking styling on you hoes. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I call myself the Messiah for a reason, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I won't lose. I'm just saying I try my best not to. But at the end of the day, you know, so I'm up 24, uh, 7 on this hoe. That should have been an interception. But for some odd reason, the users on this game is fucking terrible, you know what I'm saying? But aside from Madden, real quick. So I'll be getting a couple questions, folks, for asking me on, on my uh, Xbox Live. Am I going to cop Black Ops 2? Right now, I'm thinking no, because Call of Duty in the hole just ain't shit. It's a whack-ass game. It's just real rap. I was playing that shit last night. I hadn't played Call of Duty in, like, maybe, like, two months. I jumped on that shit last night, and I remember why I didn't jump on, why I haven't played it. I played MW3, and I played Black Ops, and I and I um I hopped on regular M, uh, Modern Warfare. That shit is fucking terrible, man. That shit is whack. Call of Duty is just a garbage-ass game. That's just real rap. I probably, at the end of the day, that's just me saying it right now, but I probably am going to end up still giving them the money and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just, um, I don't know. Last night, fucking, I, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't know. That game just gets on my last fucking nerves, but that's just aside from here. More times than not, I am probably am going to get get the game. It's just right now, god damn, can we all just stop bullshitting and, and stop acting like Call of Duty is one of the greatest games ever made because that game is a fucking epic-ass fail. That's a damn show. But anyways, back to the topic at hand. You see that your man's in my, uh, in my red zone. I'm thinking like, okay, let's see. whoa. Oh, 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 man. That, that's legit, though. That's legit. Um, yeah, yeah, no, but please, I gotta stay focused. So, you can't be showing me no pictures on, you know what I'm saying, on Facebook. I don't do Facebook, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, so, the man's in my red zone, so I'm like, okay, what you gonna do? What the fuck is you gonna do? I'm sure you gonna look to run with fucking Tim Tebow. Running with Tim Tebow is not gonna get you that ass. It's just not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That's why, homeboy. Now. I get the interception, right? You know what I'm saying? I get the interception. Look what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm running the ball. I'm making moves. Get your ass shook the fuck up. Stop fucking with me. You can't. I just can't be fucked with. I just cannot be fucked with. Bullshit. You ain't getting that tackle. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, Darryl Revis. Go ahead and make the tackle. You know what I'm saying? Here comes the bullshit. Here comes Madden. Here comes Madden. Look at this bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. How the fuck do I run all the way down the field and then I fuck around and fumble? But hold on. Here's some more Madden bullshit. You owe me a favor. Give me that bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Got me a little cool little interception, right? You think it stops there? Hell nah. Here comes some more bullshit. Check this bullshit out. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Who the fuck does that, man? That shit been another fucking interception. See, man be owing people hella favors. Knowing damn well, 
Madden owe me a hundred fans. Well, I'm about to stop. I'm gonna stop saying Madden because you know what? John Madden don't make the game no more. You know what I'm saying? That's when the game used to be legit. You know what I'm saying? Back in '94, '95, '96. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. EA makes the fucking game. Fuck Madden. You know what I'm saying? My beef ain't with him. John Madden, you know what I'm saying? You you straight with me. Yeah, I with me. You know what I'm saying? Back in back in ninety I think I first played Madden in ninety three. Ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, all the way up to I believe he stopped making the game in like two thousand and two or two thousand and three. EA, man. EA owe me a hundred goddamn favors, man. Real fucking rap, man. EA stay on some bullshit. As you can see, Kevin Cobb can't make the goddamn fucking throw just like his ass can't make the throw tonight. That's why he got his ass kicked against the fucking St. Louis Rams. But, um, EA Sports, man. Y'all motherfuckers is fucking up. Stop running screens, man. Didn't I fucking tell you? Stop. Don't run screens against them. Don't fucking do it to yourself. It's not gonna go down. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I got beat deep on... On that last play for the touchdown, though, Stephen Hill ain't that bad a bitch. But uh, EA Sports, man, y'all motherfuckers, man. Y'all owe me a hundred goddamn favors, bro. Y'all owe me a favors for when a nigga was getting, give me that interception. That goes a favor, you know what I'm saying? Give me that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> EA Sports, I'm fucking with you now. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm fucking with you because you didn't got the kid an interception, you feel me? But don't worry, you going to fuck up. Trust me, you always do. There's one thing I can always count on in life, and that's to stay black, pay my taxes, and die, and to count on that EA is going to always fuck up. That's one thing I can always count on. And that the uh, it don't matter who the fuck may call of duty. The game ain't going to be shit. That's just point blank, period. Those are the those are the few things in life that I can always count on. But, um... I ended up selling for a field goal, but I wasn't tripping. I was like, fuck it. I'm up two possession. I'm up, I'm up two scores, so fuck it. I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? All I got to do is play fat D, you know what I'm saying? I, I decided I was like, I'd rather – what I would rather do is to uh, play – pretty much play fat D just because I'd rather get beat. I'd rather give up short short routes or short crossings and stuff like that than to get beat deep. I can't stand getting beat deep, especially if I'm, like, in a cover four or something like that or if I'm a man and, like, motherfuckers get behind me. That shit pisses me off. So I decided this, I was like, there's only a minute and 12 left, so I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to go ahead and play fad, you know what I'm saying, play deep coverage because, like, I'd rather just give up short shit than to – Get beat deep. If I get beat deep, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. That's just real fucking rap. I'm gonna be super pissed. So at this point, he he gets into my red zone, and I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Turn up. Time to get turned up. So I'm like, fuck it. What the fuck is you gonna do to get in that end zone? And I seen that he was looking to throw to his tight end because he had threw his tight end before. Like I said, running with Tebow is not gonna get you that ass. It's just not. Gonna, where the hell did I get that from? I'm trying to think. I know what, what movie. Paid in full. Paid in full. If y'all out there, y'all see that movie Paid in Full when uh, Ace Boogie, when he was just, uh, he got the crossing route for a touchdown. But just a side note. So, Paid in Full, as you can see, he's going for an onside kick. He, I'll, I'll spoil the shit for you. He don't get it. I take knees. He called timeout. I end up sending him a message, calling him a fuckboy, telling him to break his man and all that bullshit. So, Paid in Full. <laughs> so, Paid in Full, when Ace Boogie was just started out. He was working in that, um, working in that, um, where was he working at? That laundry mat, and and his homeboy Calvin, Calvin with the big ass glasses. If you seen Payton Full, you know what I'm talking about. Comical, I know you know what I'm talking about, dog. So if you seen Payton Full as right here, you see he takes a timeout like a little bitch. Wait, did he take a timeout? I don't even know. Fuck the fuck that shit. Let's get to one time. So he, um, Calvin comes through and he was talking about, oh, you know, what I'm saying what you gonna do to get this money, and. And Ace Boogie was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know this, that, and the third. And um, and um, Calvin was like, working in the sweatshop is not going to get you that ass. Damn, I need to watch that movie again because I'm not even sure if that's how it goes. Hey, if I fucked up, hey, don't nobody get mad, man. It's your boy TDK, though. I'm 6-0. I'm right here. I was just showing just to show everybody that I, I get a little dubbies with kind of pretty much everybody. Um, the next team I will be playing with is somebody different. Y'all stay tuned. It's your boy TDK. I'm out.